Howdy my totally is always tubular gamers and we're back with another Sega ranking video and today's is a requested Sega ranking video. Today we're going to be looking at the Daytona USA series of games. Now when it comes to racing games and Sega, there are a lot of racing games. There's obviously OutRun, there's Sega Rally, but then there's Daytona. I don't think there's ever been a series of racing games by Sega as popular or prominent as Daytona. The only one that I think to match it is OutRun. And Daytona goes well beyond just being Sega's most popular arcade racer. I would argue that Daytona USA is one of the most popular arcade racers, if not like the most popular arcade racer in the history of arcade games. With its very iconic Daytona song, it really just blasted onto the arcades in the 90s and it's still even around nowadays in arcades, which is pretty crazy to think about. But yeah, for a long time, Daytona really did dominate arcades and it was due to a couple reasons. The game was just incredibly iconic thanks to its awesome soundtrack, its iconic theme, its really superb gameplay, the fact that it ran at 60 FPS, its really great controls and physics, how just pick up and play hard to master it was, and how you could just have a really quick time in the arcade with it, or you could sit down and really master some of these courses, and either way, you're going to have a great time. And then of course it had excellent multiplayer. In arcades you could find a bunch of machines together and you'd all be able to race each other and yeah, I mean it was really popular for the time and I've even seen it nowadays when I went to Japan I saw it a bunch as well. Daytona USA really does have a legacy to it. It really is legendary when it comes to racing games in general. So today I thought, let's look at all of the Daytona games. So a lot of people don't even realize that there was more than one Daytona USA, but yeah, there's actually been a couple Daytona USA games over the years. And right off the bat, something you'll notice with these games is they are all very, very similar. Every Daytona game is very similar to that original game. They really just couldn't get away from that original game, if we're being honest. But yeah, a lot of them are similar. For this list, we're going to be keeping the ports down to a minimum. We're going to be looking at just the original Daytona and all the original games. With this in mind, there are five original Daytona USA games and a bunch of ports of the original game, and we're going to be comparing them all and seeing which one is the best. And we'll be looking at everything. How do the cars handle? How's the music? How's the tracks? How much content is here? Yeah, we're looking at everything. When it comes to my personal history with Daytona, played it in the arcade when I was way younger, and really tried out all the other games pretty recently, especially for this video. And with a series as iconic and beloved as Daytona, we might not agree what we think is the best game, so let me know down below, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Anyway, let's get into it. What do I think is the weakest of the Daytona games? I think the weakest game in the series is the latest game in the series, Daytona 3, which was released only a couple years ago, actually, in the arcades exclusively. Now, when Daytona 3 was originally released a couple years ago, I was like, I'm sorry, what? Sega releases a new Daytona game almost 20 years after the previous game, and it's only in the arcades, not on any console. But yeah, here we are, Daytona 3 released for the arcades. And yeah, it's it's really not actually that great, and I was really kind of surprised with how lackluster this is, especially when compared to the other Daytona games. Now, how am I able to play this game, you ask? It's only in the arcade. Did you go find it in the wild? No, actually. Sega accidentally released the entire game on their website. Yeah, they actually just released the entire game. You can just download it. It's not hard to get this game running on a computer, but if we're being honest here, you're really not missing anything. I was actually really kind of surprised with how lackluster and just mediocre this title was. First off, it's basically just another remake of the original Daytona. This is like the fourth time that they've remade the original game, basically. All of the tracks are the original game's tracks, just remade. The game claims to have three original tracks to it, but if you look at the track layout, yeah, it's basically the same as the original. It might be mirrored at most. They're not even trying here. It's just the original game's tracks, and it's basically just the original game again with newer graphics. Speaking of the graphics, this game came out in the late 2010s. The late 2010s. You could not convince me it came out in the late 2010s if you just looked at it. This game looks like it belongs on the original Xbox. OutRun 2 looked better than this game, like the game does not look very good at all. Yeah, it runs at a nice frame rate, but graphically and detail wise, no, it doesn't look good. When it comes to the music, this is one area that I can say is actually pretty decent. There's a new rendition of the Daytona theme that is pretty alright, and you know, yeah, the music, I'll give it some credit, it's okay. And then when it comes to the controls, the physics, and just the handling of the car, I mean, 
it's really not that great it really isn't it's like okay at best it's passable but it doesn't feel like the original game and whatever it's trying to create here isn't amazing the game even has drafting it seems which is a weird throwback to daytona 2 but it just doesn't seem all that well implemented here also and lastly, when you're comparing all the Daytona games, this game just feels incredibly bare bones in comparison, like it feels more stripped down than even the original game. And I feel that this game is really lacking the charm and care that the other games had, especially the original. It's kind of surprising how a Daytona was released in modern day and it's this lame, like what a disappointment. So here we have Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition released for the Sega Saturn in the 90s. Now the original Daytona USA was ported to the Sega Saturn, I think it was like a Saturn launch title actually, and it was just terrible. It was just kind of an abomination and it was the worst way you could actually play the original Daytona thanks to its terrible frame rate, horrible controls, and it just looked awful. So they actually just straight up redid the Saturn release of Daytona USA. And you know this version, it ain't half bad, it's obviously not the best way you could play Daytona USA, but if you really wanted to play it on the Saturn, I mean, this is definitely the way to go. I would say though this is not a port of the original game, it is more like an enhanced re-release with some new stuff, to the point that I'd give it its own entry here, and it does address almost all of the issues from the original Saturn release. The frame rate is now 30 and it's very consistent. The pop-in and the graphics in general are fine enough, they don't look anywhere near as bad as that original Saturn release, they brought multiplayer back which for some reason wasn't in the original game, and it plays a bit better. The game even comes with its own little additions here, there's more cars you can actually play as, there's even some new tracks here, and I'll be real these tracks are nowhere near as great or as iconic as the originals, but I'm just happy to see some new tracks and they're decent enough. Now when it comes to the music of this version, I'm kind of just scratching my head, the original music isn't there, it's all this remix stuff, and the remixes, I mean they're okay, but I don't really love them, especially like the original, I don't know why they're not there, and since we're on the topic of issues with this game, obviously the frame rate isn't as good as the original, but the controls are nowhere near as good as the original either, the controls are just kind of nothing like a Daytona game it feels like at times. They don't feel anywhere near as tight, the cars feel a lot more slidey, and it just doesn't have the same feel. Maybe it's because I'm playing this on an emulator and not an original Sega Saturn, but I just did not get the original feel and I wasn't really all that satisfied with controlling the car in this game, and that's really my biggest issue with the game is I didn't love the controls. And when it comes to this game, the bottom line is I just don't really recommend it. I'd say you should just go play the original instead. I mean, obviously this is way better than the original Saturn release, so they did a good job there, but I'd rather play the original than this game. Alright, so here we have the weirdest, most hidden game in the series, Daytona USA 2 Battle on the Edge, released only on the arcades, so you better boot up the MAME if you want to play this game nowadays, but this game is actually pretty decent to good. Not only is this game pretty good, but it actually really does try to get away from the original Daytona USA. It really does try to have its own feel and be different from the original game, and it really does have a different feel to it, not only aesthetically and control-wise, but it actually feels like a sequel. It feels new. Almost everything was made from scratch here. It's actually got a totally different feel to it, and it doesn't feel anywhere near as derivative as, say, Daytona 3 does. And I gotta say, it feels totally different. It's a lot wackier, it's a lot crazier, and it feels a bit more off the rails than the original game did. You can choose different cars, you can even choose different racers here. And when it comes to controlling these cars, it feels a lot more wild, it feels a bit different from the original game, but it actually feels really nice. The drifting feels really great, and yeah, it just feels like a wild time. It can even feel a bit white knuckle, even. This game also adds the slingshot, which is basically a NASCAR drafting technique, which, you know, it's a cool addition, it does add another wrinkle to the gameplay. And then we have the music, which is incredibly energetic, crazy, and you know what? It's actually really good, and it's different from the other Daytona games, and you know, I, I really like the music here. I think it's actually pretty good. And you know, Daytona 2, it's actually pretty good. It's a pretty great arcade racer, and I genuinely have, like, no idea why it's never been re-released in any capacity. It was never released on a home console, and it's never seen any kind of re-release, and I think that's a real shame, because a lot of people probably don't even know that this game exists, and it's actually really good. I doubt you're ever going to see this game in the wild, but if you really like arcade racers, this is probably worth trying. And so here we have the original Daytona, yep, the one that started it all, released all the way back in 1994. There's a reason that a lot of the other Daytona games feel so derivative of this game, because the original Daytona, 
is actually a great game and coming back all these years later, yeah, the game is still great. This is one of the most beloved racing games of all time and with good reason because it doesn't really matter when you come back to Daytona USA, it's still going to be a fantastic time. What is there really left to say about this game at this point? It is the quintessential arcade racer, it is the true arcade experience. You start with that rolling start and you go through the track and you just try to race and win. Obviously you're in stock cars and there's like 30 of it and you just gotta race. The first course is obviously the actual Daytona or at least it's an interpretation of it. But the other two courses are definitely a lot more interesting, they're harder and they're longer. And I think that the way this game ramps up its difficulty is actually really well done. Now something that this game was really praised for back in the day and honestly one of the best aspects of the game still nowadays is the controls, the feel, and the physics. Like this game felt really different from most arcade racers and it does have a very unique feel to it. The way the car handles, the way it turns, the way it drifts, the feedback you receive, especially when you bump around, like it's very unique and there's really just no other game like it except the other Daytona games. The game just controls like a dream, whether you're on automatic or manual, it doesn't really matter. Either way, it's incredibly satisfying and it feels blisteringly fast as well. The way everything shakes about as you bump into other cars or drift through a turn, like it's awesome. I really do genuinely love it and there are not many games with physics this great when it comes to driving games. Then there's of course the multiplayer, it went up to 8 people if they had 8 arcade machines together or some of the later console releases also have multiplayer which is cool. But then there's the music. The music of Daytona USA is just so great. Like, I think everybody can agree that the music of Daytona USA is not only iconic, legendary, but just marvelous. Music, just fabulous. Like the game. The game is just great, and you really can't go wrong with it. When it comes to playing this game nowadays, it has been re-released a number of times. There's obviously the terrible Saturn version, but I would say the best version to play is either, obviously, the arcade version, or the re-release that's on Xbox Live Arcade and PSN. But nothing will ever beat that original arcade release, and I'll always love the original Daytona. It's pretty hard not to, but I don't think it's the very best that the series has ever had. No, I think the best Daytona game of them all is Daytona USA 2001 released on the Dreamcast in 2001. I think that this really does combine all the best elements of a bunch of the Daytona games to mix them all with some new stuff to make ultimately the best in the series. This game really has the most everything when it comes to the Daytona games. It has the most tracks, it has the most cars, it has the most music. The game basically features everything from the original Daytona USA and then everything from Championship Circuit Edition, that Saturn game I looked at a few minutes ago, and then it also has its own new stuff as well. It has three unique tracks made just for this game, and then basically every track has a mirror mode also. Now when it comes to the controls, it is also superb. It feels great, the cars handle great, the drifting is great, it still feels blisteringly fast. I won't lie, it doesn't feel as good as the original Daytona, but it is very close to feeling as good. It's very close. And I'm surprised how nice the Dreamcast controller actually works with Daytona. It actually just really does feel great with the Dreamcast controller. When it comes to the presentation, I think it's great. The game looks significantly better than the original game. It looks more like Daytona 2, but even a little better than that. It might be the best looking Daytona game, period. I mean, it's aesthetically more pleasing than 3, I can give it that. And it certainly has that charm and care and love that I think the third game is lacking. It's all here and it all is great. There's a couple different cars to choose from. You unlock more as you play more. There's multiplayer here with nice split screen. And then there's even time trial. How cool is that? This game actually even went online when the Dreamcast used to go online. I'm sure it was really laggy, but that's still pretty cool. Now when it comes to the music, I'm a little bit more iffy on it. Uh, it's still pretty good. A lot of the originals are still there. They added a lot more music, and when you do mirror or reverse on some of these courses, you get these other remixes, which are cool, but the original music is tucked away in there still. This new stuff, there's more new stuff than old stuff, is fine enough. But really, this is the most content-heavy, complete Daytona game of them all. And I think it's the best one. It's the one I've had the most fun with. I think the Dreamcast version really just has everything to it, and you really can't go wrong with it. I really, again, just don't know why it hasn't been re-released. I'm guessing it's got to do with the license. 
But if you're gonna play any of these games, obviously you really should play the original in the arcade, but if it's not that, yeah, it's this game. Now, the Dreamcast had a ton of great racing games to it, but I really do think Daytona on the Dreamcast, it's the best one. It's, it's a head above all the other ones, and it's one of the best racing games probably ever made. It's one of the best arcade racers as well. You really just can't go wrong with it. It's... It's a really fun game, and it's really satisfying, and it's it's just got everything to it. All right, so that's kind of it for this video, everyone. I hope everyone has a great day. Let me know your favorite Daytona down below. If you made it to this part of the video, comment bricks. That's I-C-K. Some people don't really seem to understand how I say it, but whatever. Have a good one, everybody.